Let's talk about, Gordon, your thoughts. Texas Relays, we've got a pretty juicy little mile going down. Yeah, I'm going to be here in Austin. I'm gonna here go, in Austin. Go watch Texas Relays. we got a good mile. we got Reed Brown, Sam Worley in the mile against Leo Manzano. Could, they, could a high schooler beat Leo? Could they break four? We know Leo you know, isn't really big on running fast when it doesn't matter, and you can say that this is a really early season meet for him, yeah. so he could pack it in if he's not uh, feeling that good. So but he's got, the, he's got the hometown. He does have the hometown. He's got the home field advantage home field, there. Yeah, so, I mean. He knows the track, it's safe to say. You know, Leo's, I still think Leo can, you know, make a team. Uh, there's nothing to say about that, but I think Leo also can run 420 for no reason. So, yeah, could I mean, these high schoolers beat Leo? Yes or no? Uh, I don't think so. I okay. mean, uh, we've seen, like, you know, we've seen Cesarek race the pros and it not go. I mean, pros, it's just, it's a whole nother level. That's true. Like, that's such a huge jump. I, just, I mean, even Leo's a wild card, though, because Leo. Oh, for sure, for sure. But you would think that just knowing race tactics and just being in it, I mean, do you really think Leo is going to let two high school kids beat him in Austin, Texas on his home track? No, but also. Leo is thinking about Sacramento final sure, in sure. June. Absolutely. Not the Texas Relays Mile, which these high school kids, they're seniors, that's their this to them is more like a Super Bowl for them. Sure. Than it is Absolutely. for Leo. So that's why that's that factor. But it's also they're running at three o'clock on a Saturday. It's gonna be hot, so they're not gonna run so far. From the cheap seats back here, uh Leo got smoked by Michael Slagowski at pre last year. But last time I checked, Pre was out at Oregon, not at Texas. Yes. Boom. Boom.